Um, maybe we'll start by introducing yourself. Okay. My, yeah. name is, my name is Joel <coughs> yes. Allen. I'm from the Atlantic Coast of Nicaragua. Yes. So I'm part of the members of the party. Yeah. The, the PLI party. A the Alien party. Alien party. Yeah. I'm part of it. I'm the president of the municipality in Pearl ah. the party. So what we have in this meeting today, we come here, invite everyone to come and see, to go with the candidates to the electoral process to sign the name up. Got it. To run for the new election. What yes. is deputy? Yes. Everyone who going as deputy for the different department of Nicaragua. Yes. Today is the day that everybody should be there signing huh. up their name. To yeah. Afterward, well, campaign will be opening that every every candidate will go having a campaign in a different department. Ah, and my friend and I just participated in your rally mm -hmm. for Quinones. Mm -hmm. Who is uh, Quinones? Okay, uh, Quinones, he's the same guy running for this party. Yes, yeah. he's, the, the, he's, the, the, he's the candidate for candidate. president. Got it, yeah. understand. His, yeah. his name is Enrique Quinones. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, and what, uh, what's his main policy platform? What does he stand for? His, his main, according to his explanation, his main policy is to look to open more jobs for the people okay. in Nicaragua and look to give more house to the poor people. Right. The poor people that need it. I think that's one of his main objectives. Yes. First plan for the poor. Uh -huh. Because in every government, you need to have the poor people in first place because that's the majority of sure. our country, yes. the poor people. And if we need to have a better government, we need to look at people who need more. Yes. That the people who need more to get a better life uh -huh. by finding job for them, opening job for them, looking to make the, 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 the what is the cost of labor, cost of food be more, more lo lower than yes. cost because here in Nicaragua we're paying a lot yes. of money right now. Yes. The cost of food is very dear. Yes. It's very dear in Nicaragua. It's rising up everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. Maybe it's not only in Nicaragua, but in the whole world. Yes. In the whole world, the economical situation is very difficult. At this what time. is the main uh, food that is uh, increasing okay. from a, per a normal person's okay. uh, perspective? The main food right now that increasing is the rice. And rice. Ah, yes. Main food. Ah. It's the main food of Nicaragua. Yes. That's our food. If we don't have rice and beans, yeah. it looks like we don't eat it. Yes. You know, so that's the main thing that every day it's going. So you have people without jobs, people, people who can't afford to buy food, and people who can't afford housing. Basic things. Basic thing here in Nicaragua. There's a lot. We have at least 65% of the people yeah. in Nicaragua yeah. are very poor people. Yes. And we talk about poor people, we're talking about third class people. Yes. Yeah. Right. Between 35% we have about second first class people mix. Right. But 65% of the people in Nicaragua are poor people. Right. What's the unemployment rate in Nicaragua? Okay. <coughs> the unemployment rate in Nicaragua is like about 68%. 68%. Wow. Yeah, because in the first past years, at least we had approximately 250,000 people mm. employed. Mm. And right now in this government, we barely have maybe 50% of that. Wow. That's so it went right down. It went right, instead of going, it went right down 50%. Yeah. yeah. And what uh, type of social safety nets are there for people who are without jobs? Are there any? Okay. It's very low. Very little. Very little. Okay, what do they do? To the, to the same things, because no jobs, so the, the, the security in, in Nicaragua is very low. Okay. People do anything to get a living. Right. People do anything to get a living. Even though the government is really fighting yeah. to have the security very in a stable level, yeah. but no job, yeah. people are going to, look to do anything to get money out of it. And, and uh, you know, what do you think your chances of uh, presidential candidate Kinyone is winning okay, this election? I, I, feel, I feel like if you win, uh, we got, we got to have a change in Nicaragua. Number one is because we have new faces. In what is our candidates, mm -hmm. we have new faces, new people, with new ideas something that the people really want to hear yeah. like what he speak today in his in his interview day today he speak about opening new opportunity for people opening new jobs for people opening new opportunity for school education university you know because this is one of the things that our young people don't have in Nicaragua mm. we don't have that mm. when we come out of secondary 
you just stay. If you don't have money, you don't have the opportunity to go to a better level of school. Yeah. We have to have some kind of connection with some deputy or something, some family inside the government. That person could have an opportunity to go to a better level. But if I come out of school and I don't have nobody, I just have to stay where I'm here. Mm. If I don't have work, mm. no job that I could work to pay my school, mm. number one. So what happened? So if the government not trying to open a way for the young people after they come out of secondary to have a way open so they could go to university, our country will always be low. How do you break that cycle? What what will the government do to break the cycle okay. to give the opportunity? Okay. What the government should do is look to put a fund from the, from the, from the budget from Nicaragua, a fund apart, to say this fund is for university student. Mm -hmm. you know, so that means to say if I don't have money and maybe even though I could maybe pay half of my day can the government look out to pay half. Mm. You know, so we try to look at help mm. for the people. But here we don't have help for the people. Yeah. We don't have it. Right. You have to have money if you want a better school. Right. And it starts from the secondary school level. It starts from the secondary school. Right. Right now in my in my in my hometown in Pearl Lagoon. Pearl Lagoon. Pearl Lagoon some of our parents trying to take our children out, even from secondary, mm. you understand, to, to maybe get a better level of education and maybe get a better opportunity to maybe move from one place to another place. Because when our children, we, in this year in Pearl Lagoon, we had approximately, in a small community, we had over 200 children come out of secondary. Mm. And maybe out of that, 2%, 2 percent, 2 percent maybe, mm. is who maybe get a facility to get somewhere to go to a better university, mm. maybe. Mm.